Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be showing you a video all about horses. So whether you're yay or nay on the pack, this is might be for you or maybe it won't. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Anyways, I personally was not into the horses. Um, I was not excited about it. It wasn't really my thing. And so um, I did not jump on that bandwagon. However, after getting the pack, I was pleasantly surprised how much I really enjoyed it. And I did find some really beautiful cast items and also objects that I'm gonna be showing you today and in the hopes that you will find something new for your horses. The first thing I'm going to show you today are the gradient hooves. So this is just a horse I grabbed that's a generic horse from the um, the breeds picker in, in Cass. Um, so let's look at the hooves. So if you go to hoof color and you go to this right here and it's gradient, look at this. This is perfect for like a unicorn or if you just want a really fabulous rainbow horse. Like I love these. These are so cute, so pretty. Um, and then you have, of course, the generic ones um, that are in the game. So we're going to give them, uh, we're going to give this horse the generic ones um, first, but these are the gradient hooves. The next mod I'm going to go over is the better horse texture. Um, this mod I found very early on and I absolutely love it. You can also see just how much detail is in her body and her face, her neck, um, down in her legs. It just adds a sense of realism to the horse. Instead of having it be so flat, it makes it look more realistic. The next mod is the default better eyes. So these eyes I have um, for this horse are beautiful. I love how they look. Um, they just look really nice. I love the color of them. I like where the pupils are. Some of, I did download a different one that I wasn't too crazy about after I had played with the horse. Um, in game, the eye looked just a little odd. So this one I love because it has that little white speck to make it look more open and bright. And it's just really beautiful. Um, this also has a default replacement for eyes for the sheep and the goats as well. The next item we're going to go over is the simple bridle. So I'm going to go over here into outfits and then into bridles. And this one right here is just a very simple looking bridle. It has a nice little bit in the mouth and it just looks nice. I just, I like the way that this looks. Um, these are the default or not default, but these are the games ones. Um, and then this one is the simple one that just kind of goes over the face. And I really like this one a lot. It's got some nice colors. It's got like the brown. It's got a beautiful, like a camel tone black. This is a little bit of a darker brown with some gold. And then it has the, um, the tan with the gold. So there's gold and silver, which is really beautiful. The next thing we're going to go over um, is the saddle and half pad. So this is just a beautiful saddle that makes it look a little bit more simple um, on the horse. It doesn't have all of these things kind of hanging off of it and in the front. I also do have a mod that um, I'm sorry, removes this part of the chest bridle. Um, so this is the half pad. And then here is another saddle without the blanket. Um, there is also the solid horse blanket that you can pick when you are riding the horse. Um, I tried to look for it in cast, but I couldn't find it. So I'm not sure if it's just when you pick it when you ride it or what, um, but they have different colors for the saddle. The textures are beautiful. Like how everything looks is just really, really nice. Um, and then this is the other saddle and it's got some beautiful colors. Like they're so pretty. I love the detail on the side and everything. Look at this. It's even like for Halloween. That's so cute. Um, I mean, it's not for Halloween, but you know what I mean? You can totally pass it over by Halloween. This one too. Oh my gosh. I love this one. And I'm not a perp fan. And this is really pretty. I keep saying I'm not a purple fan and like I end up always gravitating towards perp. So maybe I am. Um, I love oh, this green. Oh, I love this green, especially with this color horse is beautiful. And the pink Barbie. Okay. Love these absolutely beautiful saddles. 
This next mod is the hair mane and tail retexture. So as you can see, I also will talk about too that I have the longer mane and forelock and longer tail. So we're gonna kind of go over like horse hair right now. Um, this is the longer tail. This is beautiful. Like. I love how long this is. This is how it should be. Like, hello, take notes, EA. Um, but this is the longer mane. Like, so nice. Why, why, why? So we have some different forelocks. So this one, well, how cute is this? Like, she looks so cute. So this is a longer one. I will have all of these links as always um, at the bottom. So we have this forelock. We have this one is like a little side swoop she looks beautiful um and then we have this one that's like a little top knot and then this has a different tie on the top knot like so so cute are you ready for this one this one i am absolutely in love with ready look at the heart now i have some toddler hairs that do that little heart on the top of their hair and it's probably one of my favorite things like you can ask my chat how many times i put that on toddlers i love this the fact that it's for a horse is probably one of my favorite things okay now we're going to get into one cc piece that i am so excited about so if you go into accessories Look at this wreath. This creator I just recently found and I am like living for everything she puts out. I have so much stuff that's gonna be linked that is from her and it's just perfection. Like it's absolutely beautiful. And I think she just started in July and I don't know if she just started her Patreon or what, but her stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. So these are the different um, swatches for the, like look at that. I, I'm just in awe. This is probably my favorite, especially with this pink saddle. So um, also while we're here, I will show you the ribbon. So this is the little ribbon. Um, this is EA's version and it just has, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, like six colors. This ribbon, look at all these colors. It's basically the same thing. It just adds a bunch of different recolors. Um, you've got some bright tones and you know, this like beautiful green and like a peachy pink. Um, it just makes it more fun. You can add all kinds of different colors and it's adorable. Okay, now this one is the um, Better Leg Wraps. So I'm gonna put this on her and you can see, so this is EA's version. They kind of just look like funky socks. And to be honest with you, per usual, the swatches are absolute shit. So like this one's cute. I like this one, I like the checkered, but like other than that, like no so we have of course the incredible modding community that's going to make better braces so this is the one that they came up with and i love it because it doesn't cover their hooves and i okay this horse is stressing me out like we need to get the standstill and cast where this thing doesn't stop moving or stops moving around because it's driving me crazy so here's the orange yellow green calm down girl light green I guess like a light blue here's a darker blue purple pink and then we have black this is actually I don't know why this is a gray swatch but it's black but anyways this is what they look like I like this so much better because as you can see the EA ones kind of hover hover <laughs> cover the hooves more um this one it just like exposes their hoof a little bit more and I just I like how that looks aesthetically Okay, so now for that same creator that did this beautiful wreath, um, I did find that she came out with a couple things for the rider. So again, I will link everything. Um, there are these adorable pants that are like riding pants, which I'm very surprised that the Sims didn't come out with like a riding outfit. Um, so we have this beautiful uh, outfit here where it's got some nice riding pants and a riding shirt. And then this is just EA's hat and I put like a little scarf on her. And then these are EA's boots, I believe. Um, they are, they're from Dream Home Decorator. So I just feel like they go well. You can it's see in the back, it's got this little like emblem and it's really cute. Holland looks beautiful. And so now I'm gonna show you the objects. I always do this. I always forget 
once I say I'm going to show you the objects. So before I do that, I'm going to show you the tails for the horse. I forgot to show these. So these are the longer um, tails. So we have this one, which is the braid. Um, here's the other braid. This is super long, really beautiful. We have one that's tied at the top. This one is just kind of like free form. Um, this is another braid Then we have this super long one. Um, this one I love. This is the one that I had her um, in originally. And then this, I love this. This is so pretty. Just a bunch of different braids. This one has like a um, different color on the top to tie it. And then this is like a shorter one. So I'm gonna keep her on the one that I had. And um, now I will show you the objects. Okay, so now let's go over the items. Also, why is it every time that I wanna make a video or do something cute, the stupid welcome wagon is here. Like nobody wants this. Okay, anyways. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is the water trough in fence object. So if you know from the game, um, they do have a water trough that looks just like this. However, it has to be inside of a pen. So this one is actually for, it's great for two horses because you could have one on this side and this side and they can both drink out of the water, which is lovely. I love that. There's also this, um, object here it's the feed pan for horses so it's just like a little feed pan um there's two different swatches there's one that's empty and then there's one with some like little hay inside which is really cute um and then we have the natural horse beds so as you know the horse beds in the game they kind of have this stuff around it um this is just a lump of hay that they can lay on and it's very cute um doesn't have any swatches so it's very cute just to have it kind of like in a natural setting and i love the way that that looks um the next is the rustic hitching post so this hitching post is actually i think a replica of the sims 3 if i'm not mistaken so there's this one with the um water and then there's one that's just plain they are not functional these are just decorative um, there is the pasture feeder, which is this right here. So this is also a double feeder. So you can have um, horses on each side. And I believe, okay, so it just has two swatches. It's got like the hay once it's filled and then also um, like a green color. And then these also have different swatches, which are very nice. And I really like the texture of the wood. Um, it looks very realistic and very pretty. And these are all the different colors of it. Um, really, really nice. I love how these look. Okay, the next few items we're gonna go over are the grain storage bin. So there's two of them. There's one that's closed, there's one that's open. Um, very cute, love how they look. The swatches are beautiful as well. They have very nice grain textures in the wood. Um, so these are the same swatches. Super, super cute, love them. Um, the other one is the hanging bridal decor. So this is the same, um, this is actually the saddle. I'm sorry. This is the saddle. There is also the hanging bridal decor, which comes with the same um, collection and you put it on the wall. Um, this is the Western saddle as decor. And so you can put this like I just put this on the fence. You can put it inside of a cute little um, horse area. So I love how this looks. It adds a little bit of detail and it is very, very pretty. The next piece of CC that I'm probably the most excited about is the natural colored horse balls. So that sounded terrible. <laughs> the ones that they play with. So if you know me, EA, you know that I hate everything that EA's color palette is. I just, I don't like the colors. I don't like the greens that they use. I like muted tones and things that are just more aesthetically pleasing. And personally, EA just doesn't hit the mark for me or they miss the mark for me. Um, This pack, 
actually did a very good job with the wood tones in my opinion. I absolutely love how these look. Um, I think whoever they hired to do the texture in the wood of this pack is was just spot on. I think they did a wonderful job. So this is what I want. Like when I'm talking about wood tones, this is what I want, not this. So when it comes to the playing the balls that the horses play with, I don't like the colors that they chose. So when I saw this piece of CC, I was so excited because I love these. So the swatches are beautiful. Um, there's an option of clear or just like clean, plain um, balls. They don't have any kind of dirt on them or anything. And then they have the dirtier version, which I think is really cute. I love that it adds some realism to it. This is like the seafoam color that I love. This blue is beautiful. The yellow, the white, the pink, and then this kind of like purpley blue, but it just adds like a sense of that it's been used and played with. And I absolutely love that. The next piece of CC are the trot poles. So as you can see, they are one uh, one pole that you put down, you know, next to each other, and they can use the the rider can go through these trot poles. So it's just a nice little thing instead of just using that barrel all the time. And they're very cute, and they have different swatches. So they've got red, pink blue, green, plain white, and then like a brown. You could actually use this in decor. If you have tool, you can probably use that for a lot of things. That gave me an idea. Okay, so now this piece of CC is amazing. And a lot of these pieces are from the same creator, which is the one that uh, made the horse wreath. And just like top tier, absolutely gorgeous. Um, love everything that they do. And so this trailer, um, they actually made it functional. And the creator's name is Sass and Freckles. So I apologize if I forgot to say that originally. Um, this is a functional trailer. This is amazing. So you click on it, you can enter a competition, you can find the community jobs on here. You can, um, oh, okay, well, ugh, again, the welcome wagon is here, so we can't go to the, the equestrian center, but you could go to the equestrian center. You can call the animal, uh, the ranch animal exchange, you can travel, you can do horse training. Like, this is amazing. You can have this on your property and you don't have to do anything extra. I love that. And now the final piece of CC that I'm gonna talk about is the Hello Horses Clutter. It's like a big clutter kit by the Clutter Cat. Um, I'm gonna put a picture in the video just because everything is like, uh, there's a bunch of little small things. There's like rugs and chairs and decor and it's really cute all put together, but it's kind of hard to show like all outside. So I will put a picture in there for you to see that adorable collection. So that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, you could see my Sam is not really enjoying her horse ride, but you know, that's okay. Nope. All right. Well, anyways, I hope that you absolutely loved this video as much as I loved making it. It was super fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I am always on the lookout for new pieces of CC for horses and for just like everything in general, because CC is life in my opinion. Um, if you want to follow my Pinterest board, I will link that below as well. I am always on Pinterest and pinning different CC pieces of things that I find and that I love. Um, again, I will have have everything linked and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are around this big beautiful world and I'll see you in my next video bye